Hello all and welcome to Pound 16 of Project Enterprise. First thing I want to say is, is a sorry really because this episode should have been released weeks ago but I've had a lot of um, technical problems. I'm, I'm not really sure what the problems are so I basically split this episode into part 16 again but also part 17. I'm not sure if it's the size that I'm uploading that um, YouTube doesn't like or there's a problem on their end with processing or maybe it's the way I've made it or something else that is unforeseen and I don't know about. But either way, I've uploaded this about three times now and it just, it's just not happening. So what I've decided to do is to take down the original part 16 and remake it into two parts, part 16 and part 17. And I think that'll work out a bit better for all of us really. Um, so in this part, uh, what I'm showing you guys is actually the masking for mask design. And I've got the source section I'm laying down the pie segments of the masking and then I'm running um, more masks on the on the grid lines where you see the the paneling where they've actually laid the paneling <clears throat> and I do those on it as well and also the edge um, the edge masking because the edge of the source section gets masking as well which is a really nice and beautiful design um, so that's really what this episode is about and I'll talk more about um, part 17 in part 17. So let's head on over to, the over to the bench and see what part 16 is all about. You take care. Bye now. Hello. And here we are at the workbench. And as you can see, I've, um, well, I've pretty much done all of it. And I just need to do these last three segments here. And the last last couple of segments um, of this of the side uh, saucer. But before I do that, I'll just literally show you what um, what I'll be doing. Um, these are the actual masks, um, and they go around in sequence. Um, they're literally a copy of the previous one. So I finished on this one here, and you can tell the difference by if you look here. This one by here is blank. There we go. This one by here is blank. And this one by here has got um, a black line to it, really. And then that's blank, black line, blank, black line. And it goes all the way around like that. So the next one that goes here will be that one. And then the one after that will be this one. And then back the black one again. And you may be wondering why this one has a black thing on it. Well, if you try and put this down without some sort of indicator, um, you just won't do it. So when you um, weed this out, yeah, you leave this bit on here, so you literally have something to you know guide you by, really. Then once I put all those on, then I'll be um, putting these ones on, and these are literally the ones that go around the side here. And then once I put the pie on, as they call it, and the rim, then these lines here and on here, I'll be using these um, because I don't I don't want those lines sprayed. And um, it's, it's a really nice idea for mask, mask design here. And I've also been using um, the, the card that they gave me to uh, um, flatten them out. And how I put them on is literally with this um, clear, I think it's Fablon stuff it is. And you literally put this over, the, you know, the actual mask like that. And then you peel it off and then you put it on. And you'll get to see that in a bit. Um, and I've got all my stuff here ready to do it. Um, I've got my tweezers because... You need a good pair of tweezers. Um, uh, what else have I got? Um, got my little smoothing tool, just in case anything goes wrong. And of course, got the like credit card thing um, that helps to smooth it all out. So I'm all ready, and um, you guys can see this. So the next one to go on here will be this one, um, and I'm going to lay the masks over these because um, those are getting cut off and trimmed anyway, and that won't make much of a difference. Um, so let's show you guys exactly how I do it, is it? Um, put that on there and I've got a fresh bit of Fablon because what I've noticed too, going all the way around here is after about um, three or four um, using the Fablon it literally uh, loses its tackiness and which then becomes a problem. Just make sure I got it all right. Yeah, that is the right one. So how we do this is just literally put this on there, 
like that. And then I smooth it down. And of course I'll I'll put the um videos to mask design and um in the description below. Um and then you just literally go like this. And this helps to um make the mask adhere to um the clear fablon so when you peel off here it will stick to the fablon and then we can stick it to um the uh, model okay put that away so now all we do is and as suggested by gary we just roll it so i'm gonna try and get it in shot for you there we go because i gotta get this in shot for you and i also see what i'm doing so there we go that will work push this down and then just roll it up Of course, if it doesn't come off the card, then you just put it back and push a little bit down on the clear fablon and it will stick to it. Two little bits at the top that always they always want to come off they do they, they never want to go onto the fablon so we'll just are they going to come off or are they going to stick on oh good and of course this bit now is pretty much useless so i'll go straight in the bin and very carefully take my finger off it and there we are that's ready to go on now we'll just make sure that this is clean and there's nothing on it how i put how we put this on is we start off in the corner uh, where's my point now oh, there we are start off in the corner and i'll line it up that way and down that way but what i've learned is to, to put it in the corner there and then to line it down here and then to sort of pull and stretch it up there and then the whole thing will fall into place oh you'll see now guys yeah and I'll just need to turn this around a bit more so I can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm literally going to put that corner there into this corner here. And it literally goes like that. And then we go around. Make sure that the whole mask is there. And then we pull this. No, it's a bit too far. It's okay, we can go back on it. Always have these problems, don't we? And then we just reseat it on the mask. And we go again. I didn't have it quite close enough to the one seam. So we'll go a little closer. That's better. And then we lay it down. Go along. Lay it down like that. So that's the bottom one now in. And then we just literally run up the side. Make sure that it's on the one side. And there we go. And that's the mask down. And we can use our tool as well. And 
that will help it to come off and stay on the model and as you can see that looks pretty uh, stuck on there now all we simply do is take off the uh, clear pablon bit And as you can see, the pattern marries up. So this blank bit here marries in with that um, filled in bit. You know, I um, don't need this for a minute, so I'm just going to stick it to uh, my desk there. What we need to do now is to put on one of the side ones here, which are these. And I have some more, and I have another bit of fablon here. I could use that one, but um, I, I like to use clean ones all the time, you know. So I'm literally going to pick one out. And it makes no difference with these as well because um, there's no real pattern that goes along the edge. Um, so it's really left up to yourself, really, what order you put these these ones in. Um, and as Trek Modeler's Guide says, and as Mass Design says, it's, it's really up to you what, what order you put these on. Um, and that's that, really. So we're now going to peel this one off. This one's a bit easier. Can we usually, here we go. There we go, oh, always one isn't there. Okay, there we go, that's off. And then we're gonna put this literally by here. And it's pretty much the same as that one. And I'll, I will literally go up tight to, the previous mask so there's no gap I'm trying to put I'm trying to do it so I can see it and you guys can see it so I'll put this up nice and tight to the other one and the good thing about this is even because the blue is really good there we are that's it there and then we just literally move this along if it comes off we just put it back down again and we literally just move this along so it's literally on the edge of the lip here there we go and then we smooth that down like that and I take it off That's the edge one done. It's not that hard, is it? Taking me a while to um, get used to it, but it's really not that hard. Now, this one here, this has the special one, and this is special because this is the same pattern as that one there. Um, it's the same pattern as that one there. The only difference is it's got this extra bit on here. And that extra bit there is, is just for guidance. And when I put this down, I'll, I'll take that off. But without this extra bit here, um, I wouldn't be able to, to get it down properly. So that's what we're going to do now. Put this on here. Like that. And if you don't this, uh, this pattern here is the exact, well, it's, it's not, um, it's the opposite pattern of the other one. And that's literally all you're doing. You're just going around, just putting the masks down and just copying the, the opposite pattern of the one next to it. Um, there we go. It's on there. So we'll take this off now. always getting it started I find there we go so it's nicely started I usually like to go at an angle or straight up because there are um, sometimes these masks don't don't like to come off but if you like Gary says if you put them back down like that 
like that one there doesn't want to come off so we'll push it down give it a good hard squeeze and off it comes I'll try going up this way there we go took me a while to get my head around this but once after about I think after about the third or fourth one I did I, I, I sort of started getting into it because it is repetition really you're just repeating it um, you're just repeating the pattern over and over so it's not really hard it's just time consuming more than anything else but if you want that Aztec look and you want that original Star Trek feel then this is what you do and to be honest with you without, without these masks from mask design I don't think I could have done this anyway there we go top of it now there we go and we don't need this again so let's go straight in the bin but we do need this and obviously I've been using my finger so and there is a mask under it so I'll just very gently pull my finger off and the mask will stay where it is and this is exactly the same technique as the last one. There's really no difference. The only difference is afterwards I've got to take that um, guideline off. And you'll see exactly what I mean by it. So put this down here. And we're literally going right into the corner of the seam of the two. That's about right there. And then we're literally running it along the seam on the bottom first. And then we go up the side a bit out or a bit over we just pull it in and there we go she's down let's move them off get our card and when you do this you what I've noticed is when the mask isn't really sticking it's like um, a light black but then when you put the card over it and you start scraping it um, it turns into like a really dark black and that's when you know that it's stuck onto the model you know we get our tweezers and we find where it is there it is and then we very carefully just pull it back and i'm pulling it but nice and low so it doesn't pull the masks up sometimes when you take it off it does you know bring the mask back up and we don't want that okay that's done with that there's one here that's not quite if you notice that one there isn't quite seated properly I'll bring it right up yeah probably notice it's not seated properly so what I'll do is I'll just gently pull this up and then I'll put him in right in the corner and now he's down there properly as he should be of course we've got to take this bit off here and that is literally because this bit here is a spare but you'll, you'll, you'll see now when I take it off and if you go to watch the videos on mask design you'll understand exactly what I'm trying to do um, and of course like I already said I'll link the um, how I you know how I did this and um, how Mask, mask design suggests you do it in the description below and there we go and now that one matches that one and this is this is useless now so we'll just throw that away okay i'm going to put the last mask on and then i'm going to do the bottom rim because then i can do that bit up there i can do the seams then so my last mask is here that's the last one and we'll we'll put that on now one as well didn't, didn't just come here for hot cocoa and cookies, you know. There we go. There 
Sometimes that happens. I'm a bit too um, vigorous and I um, disturb masks in the other quadrant. But I'll just do it down by here. Uh, there we go. Nice flat surface always helps, doesn't it? And we'll just peel this one off. So we can see if the masks are coming off or staying on. There we go. Always get an awkward one, don't you? There we are. He's off now. There we go. That's that one dead. And of course, just gently take my finger off because there is a mask there. We don't want to ruin the mask. Skin grows back, but masks don't. <laughs> the difference with this one now is um, because it's overlapping with an echo beat, I, I got no reference here. So I'll use the reference from this corner. And it's literally the same as the, the other two that you've just seen. So I'm literally going to put this down right in the corner. Like that. And then we'll go along. We'll go along the bottom. Like that. And then we go up the side, just like that. And she goes and she fits in nice and perfect. Of course I have got some overlap because there should be more there but there's not. So now we just take this off. Do a bit more of this, don't I? Make sure it's all sitting down properly. So the problem is because a quarter on the masks aren't stuck to anything, they will, you know, um, try and come off again, uh, which is always a challenge. But you know, that's just the way it goes sometimes. So we're going to go from this corner over to there and I think that'll probably work a bit better. There we go, yes. Some of the masks are coming off but that's fine because where they're coming off is where the neck will, will be anyway so I'm not bothered about those three because they want to come off there, there and there and that's where the neck will be in. You won't see them anyway. So that's that done. Is that on there properly? Not quite. No, it is. good that don't it what I'll do is off screen I'll, I'll trim all that okay so now what I've got to do is put these little grid lines on I've got to put them on there there and there and they're relatively easy to put on so I'll just 
take this one off like that. And we're going to do this one first. And we literally just, well, actually start at the bottom is better. Actually start at the bottom. And then, and the reason I'm doing this is because I, I don't want my, um, the seams in between each joint um, painted. I want to keep them as clean as possible. Um, then, because later on I will be uh, highlighting them so you'll be able to see the panels. That's a good one, that is. I like that one. And we'll just get some more. Start off at bottom again that's okay and literally go up it like that there we go and then the last one no thank you Mr. Um, Clear Fablon in the last one and again start off at the bottom no nope, not quite sometimes they sort of move themselves up or lift themselves but it's not a problem you can reseat them there we go now what we want to do is, is you can probably see this big white line down here so I got more than enough there isn't one another ten there and I probably only need two so we'll literally Take another one. Start off with the last one finished. And then just fill in that gap. get one don't you? I was wondering why it wasn't going down properly. Yep, now it's gone down. There we go. Last one. And then it will be, well, it will be done. I have got a bit of a gap there, but I'll sort that out later. take long to do this. Okay, so there we are. And that's that done. That's ready for spraying now. So I'm going to go off and trim all these off because you don't want to watch that guys. Um, believe me, it's seriously boring. Um, so I'm going to trim all these off, tidy, tidy this up and um, then we'll be ready to be uh, spraying the uh, blue paint. So until then, 
You all take care and have an awesome weekend. Bye for now.